Hello people. Today I want to show a little two-point perspective exercise and it's pretty simple. It's one of the first ones I ever learned in industrial design class with Miss K. And basically you start off with a horizontal line for the horizon and then you put two points, that's why it's called two-point, on the line. And then from here, I'm going to switch to my smaller ruler and start drawing vertical lines. And you can also dot these out too. You can have some that cross the horizon, some that are below, some that are above. like this, some, some that are smaller, some that are bigger. All right, so once you've got your vertical lines, then we're gonna just connect up the points. So bottom goes to the right side, top goes to the right side. And bottom, top goes to the left side line up those two dots and I'm going trying to be light with my pencil because we're gonna these are just guidelines pretty much so try to hit those points and now the the trick is uh, let's say our edge here is uh, I'll mark the ruler it's about this long um, if I measure that out and put a point here and draw up, I'm going to be really light about this because I don't want to commit here. So see how this looks like a rectangle? It looks kind of um, skewed. Uh, that's because of the perspective, right? Since these lines are they're slowly getting distance, uh, the distances are getting smaller as we move back. So I'm going to make this a little bit shorter. Uh, maybe that's too much. Something like that. Um, so this is just an eyeball thing. You just do whatever you think feels right. And let's get this corner here, see where the this line and this line intersect is the corner of our cube and then bring that to the right side as well and same thing over here I'm gonna this is kind of a extreme angle here these these two lines are converging very quickly so that means the distance here will be shorter the more extreme this angle is, the, the shorter this will be. Okay, and I'll go back to this side. And you don't have to go all the way, just far enough so that you can plot your intersection points. So once this is done, this, I think, you know, this is a, my basic cube. Now I'm going to grab these points here and cross them out. Or each face of the cube, I'm going to draw an X. And the point of the X is to be able to find the center of that face. So this, this face here, that's our center. Now with that center, I can draw a vertical line and I can draw this perspective line here. Okay, and I'll do the same thing for the other sides. And this is just practice to get your uh, 
your your precision better with the ruler and kind of practice with line weight trying to get a light touch on these cuz they're guidelines although i do want them to show up in the video so hopefully they do and also a lot of people like to use clear rulers or clear triangles which is just better for this kind of work because then you can see you can line things up better with the see-through one okay so now I can put dots so it's nice to put dots sometimes just to help yourself keep track of where your your intersection points are especially with more complicated drawings it can get out of hand pretty quick another thing we used to do in school was to grab this point here and push a push pin through it and that way when you're lining up your ruler you actually have a physical pivot to, to use over and over but I don't want to ruin my desk so I'm not gonna do that um, okay so once we're here the cube is is set up for an ellipse and with the ellipse uh, one thing that some people say is that you you can divide this corner here this quadrant into three parts three segments and then the circle should intersect a little bit past that that second segment so that would mean that the the arc will pass through there um, so the cool thing about the point is that you can then transfer that point to the other side by drawing a perspective line and see how this this cross this X helps because it allows you to mirror those points over then I can go vertical straight down same thing over here straight down and again this this uh, cross is helping I think I I made this a little bit crooked. Anyways, the cross helps to mirror stuff around. And then you can go around. I'm just kind of going slow and being careful. And trying to hit those those points too right there alright and then same thing over here I'm gonna skip this point thing because sometimes I feel like I it screws me up and these are tricky because they're really squished but it's kind of awkward from this angle but remember if your circle intersects here then you can always draw a line to your perspective and since we have the cross we can say that in this case the circle should hit that point at this point so think of the the cross as a mirroring tool to help you make sure things are even on both sides
right? And finally, I'm gonna just tidy this up and and darken the outsides a little bit. This is why it's good to draw light in the beginning because then when you darken up the edges at the end, you'll have a, a nice variety of, of line weight. Yeah, and uh, so Miss K, every morning she would make us do 10 of these, 10 or 20 of these cubes, which is a pain in the ass, but in the end it really helped, especially with ellipses, because if you think about it, any of these cubes here, if you can, if you can draw a cube, then you can draw an ellipse that fits that cube. So and break it down even more if you can draw a square anywhere in, in perspective then you should be able to fit an, a, a circle onto that square which is really uh, useful for any kind of mechanical or types of drawing I, f I feel like the trick with ellipses is that I mean a lot of people can draw really nice ellipses that are clean and and, and round but the hard part is knowing how to fit the ellipse onto the, the the plane or onto the surface that it's supposed to be sitting on. So that's what this exercise focuses on and it will help you get better at that. Alright, I'm gonna speed this up. It's a little bit tedious and be back in the end. Another thing is that you don't have to draw the the perspective lines all the way. At a certain point it's okay to just um, maybe go a little bit just enough to complete the the cube and you don't have to go any farther so you can say that the cube is like over here so we don't really need all that excess and I know this is uh, pretty boring but it's like eating your vegetables you gotta do it if you wanna do more interesting stuff later this will definitely pay off. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps and feel free to post any exercises that you do. Love to see them. And talk to you later.